Yay. Yay. I'm decorated in confetti. My fan is decorated. Camera is decorated. I have an itch. Thank you. That just got wrapped around my fan. Well, damn it. <laughs> now my fan's decorated, at least. Put that there. Let's try another, shall we? I can't do it. <sighs> Things are not cooperating at all. They supposed to come like all right. Hi everybody, Ariana here. Um, happy Mother's Day to you that celebrate it. Um, so, dyed my hair. Uh, I really like the color. I think it's really nice. Um, it's not as bright red as I wanted. See, I wanted it like this bright red. But this is the first time. So, you know, it'll get brighter over time. But anyways. Woo! Um, I, tomorrow's my jaw surgery. I was supposed to do a popper for that. Tomorrow's my jaw surgery. I just, I just did that. I keep on decorating my fan. I've done like four of those. Decorating the fan, decorating me. It's fun. The camera has it all over it now. As long as it doesn't hit the light and light on fire, we're good. Woo! So. Doing, you know, a little, yay, my surgery is happening tomorrow, gotta celebrate, right? Um, I didn't know, <laughs> I was so focused on my surgery coming up that I overlooked that today is Mother's Day, and, um, it hasn't been the best day. <laughs> Um, it's one of them things. Um, a friend of mine, we went out to see Civil War last night. Um, great movie. Great, great, great. A little bit off compared to what I thought was going to happen. And the direction that they're going, I'm not, I don't really get it. But yet, Spidey. So it was really great. I loved it. Tom Holland is Spider-Man is great. Um, but I, I don't know why I'm bringing this up. So let's go ahead and talk about the next thing. Um, the situation was we had a couple bevs and I needed to go potty. And... They had one restroom that was an all-gender family restroom. And the door was locked. And when I said something about it, the ticket person said, Ticket person? I'm going to go with ticket person. Um, they said that it is it remains locked now. So I don't know why that is. So, yeah. That situation sucks still. Because either way... People have to make comments. And it's kind of scary. Because you're just, you're put in that spotlight of, I don't know, it's, I don't know, it bothered me. I need to stop saying it. I don't know, because apparently I don't know. Um, let's get past that. Freaking birds. Shut up, shut up, shut up. So, 
after we left the movies, um, we stopped by a liquor store to pick up some bevs, some adult bevs, and I ran my card. It was already in the swiper, and it asked me to insert it into the chip reader, and I did that, so it was already gone. And the guy then wanted to see my ID. So, it wasn't for age, because I already made the purchase. The purchase was already going through. Um, it wasn't for the card, because the card was already going through. So, it was awkward. Yeah, because I'm starting to get that a lot where I'm getting carded. And I'm guessing that it's just because people want to know who they're talking to. I don't know. Um, it just it hurts to be in that situation. Because it's insulting. Because I feel like I do a pretty good job. I feel like I, um, I look the part, so when somebody questions it, or anything, it's hard. Today has been a rough day, I will not lie. Um, I was hesitant about even making this video. Because I'm not 100%. Did not realize it was Mother's Day. Oh man, I didn't even know until too late. Anyways. I'll be fine. So, my ID doesn't even match my card. So, if he was looking on my ID to see if I was the card owner, he failed because there's two different names right now because I haven't got my new card yet from the bank. So, why? I am all over the place today. I am not on point. I don't feel well. It's one of those days where you just feel terrible. Like, I'm scared of these little things. You Do you know these? Okay. Bone string, they go pfft. Yeah, I don't know why, but it terrifies me to pull that string. I've done, what, seven of them so far? Which have turned out so great on my fan and on my camera and all that. So, I don't know why I still have an issue with it. It's like I pull it, but I'm like expecting a big boom. Oh, <laughs> That went far. <laughs> Alright. I think that's all of them. Except for this one. The cord came out. What do you do with that? I don't know. I gotta mess with it. I just gotta mess with everything. Um, I did not get to enjoy free comic book day. Which is really, really odd. Because usually that's something big for me and I really wanted to go and I didn't go and... But I did see Civil War, so not all is lost. I cannot have anything to eat or drink after midnight tonight. Which I don't plan on it anyway, so whatever. But I mean, I figure I don't even know what time it is. Let me check the phone. 
238. It's 238. I should take a nap. No. So anyways. Um. I guess I should eat like 6 o'clock or 7 to have my... Just to have something. I don't know. sad because it's the last time I'm going to be able to eat a solid for a while. Down my leg. But anyways. I wish everybody a happy Mother's Day. Um... So, lately I have been having a lot of sadness, um, me, f I, 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 me feel, me feel, me feel, so, yeah, um, I'm sorry, I am not at 100% today. I did not realize that it was Mother's Day, and it has kind of caught me off guard. It's been a rough day. Um, one more, shall we? Yay! That one decorated the camera. So now we decorated the fan, the camera. This one didn't even, like, actually pop out. Didn't even go anywhere. Yay. Fun times. Yay. Okay. Whatever. So, tomorrow's my surgery. Um, I'm excited. It's finally here for my jaw surgery. This is an issue that I've had all my life. And now I'm going to have it corrected. So, I know that everybody else has this problem, like me, where you want to remember something, and you're like, I don't need to write it down, I'll remember it. And then later on, you're like, what was I supposed to do? So yeah, I have a nice little book of crap now, just everything I guess I write down now, and yeah. So I have a lot of things that I actually want to talk about. Um, too much for one video, so I'm not going to like go through my entire list right now. Um, obviously it'll be good for when I heal and I start talking again. So my jaw is going to be hurting for a while. But anyways, I am so out of it today. It's been... A day and a half. Not really a day and a half, but you know what I'm saying. So, I say so a lot. I really hate that I say that so much. So, I'm going to be at least in bed rest for two weeks. So, I'm, I'm going to take that time to devise a, uh, a schedule for my cardio and everything because I have to I looked at the standards for the surgery and all that the main surgery that I want to have and I apparently have to be down in a certain area so that's that's fine with me I mean that's just more you know it's gonna make me more aggressive to get there at the weight I want to be stop looking at the viewfinder all right so anyways I um I'm gonna take some time during my downtime to set a schedule. That way, you know, in two weeks when I can, you know, be up and around or even before that because I don't know if it'll take me two weeks to uh be fine. I mean when I had my tussolectomy I think I like I think I took like a week off. Like you were supposed to be off for like three weeks or something like that. I think I made it one week before I had to go back to work because it was killing me. Like not doing anything. Although when I did go back to work, I ended up working myself too hard. 
and I pulled a stitch. Maybe that's a lesson. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways. So I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know how long I'm going to be down and out, and it sucks, because I wish I knew ahead of time, but all I know is the two weeks. So I'm going to have a nice little schedule planned out for exercise, that way I can start planning exactly when the surgery is going to be, the big sur surgery is going to be, and, you know, everything leading up to that. So anyways, um... Lately, I have been feeling very, very sad and down. Um, I, I feel lonely. I know I shouldn't, but I do. Um, I see so many people that have significant others, or family, you know, or, um, children, and those people are so lucky, because you have somebody in your life that is there for all time to be there for you, especially on, like, something like today, Mother's Day, family is important. Especially when you're going through life changes like I am. Family and friends are important. I like doing this because my camera freaks out when I do it. There's this little box that just... It's measuring where my hands are. <laughs> And it's changing. All right. Anyways, so I like my hair. Sorry, I like it. So my I I have a dedicated friend that's gonna take me to my surgery tomorrow for my jaw, and um, she's great, and I'm very thankful that she's doing it. I just I have such a hard time asking others to help me because I don't want to inconvenience anybody and she has such a full life anyways and she's rather busy so I don't know but you know she's a good friend and she, you know she's great and she's saying that it's fine so yeah I don't know why I'm so depressed right now so I've been spending a lot of time down in the dumps I guess I'm trying to say and I'm having a hard time right now bouncing back. There's a kid outside having two rocks and banging them together. Why? find a new place to live. So anyways, yay. Tomorrow is the surgery. Um, it's going to correct the issue that happened when I was younger. The incident. So, it's going to be nice to have that all fixed. I'm scared of it. It's it's scary. Um It's my jaw surgery that I've been looking forward to for a while and now it's here and after being told what they're gonna do, like the strategy and all that, I'm like you know it's scary. There's part of me that's like, you know, forget it, forget it, 
you can you can live with this. You can live with your little issue, but realistically, I can't. Um, because when it does lock, it it hurts. Because it's kind of like the knee, where it's going back and forth in there, right? And what it's doing is it's popping out right here, getting stuck and grinding where it pops back in. So it's been getting so bad where it can't go anymore because it's just grinding so much where it just stops. Uh, then it's locked. And it's scary. I hope everybody has a good day. And I think that's where I'm going to be done because it's just not been a good day for me. Um, again, happy Mother's Day to everybody that celebrates it. Um, I'm thankful for all the parents. Um, Family is important. So, uh, if you love somebody, let them know. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Um, treasure each moment. Because you never know when it's going to be last. Make the most of every day, and um, do what makes you happy. Don't let others tell you who or what to be. We only have this one life, and you know it, it can go away at any second. So it's important. To live every day to its fullest. So. I am sorry. I am. Falling apart. <laughs> I. Will be back. Um. After my two weeks of healing. Um. It's definitely important to let people that you care about know that you care about them. Bye, everybody. I will see you in, like, two weeks or something, or whenever I can talk again. Bye.